Just drops back towards the rear in the early stages. Guadalajara over on the far side away quickly, but Rolo is up there as well. Out wider then in the early stages, Wing Da Jean, and right there too is Mota Farre, the 200 to 1 outsider. Now, Kieran Fallon on Yates is up searching for a handy position. The question is, will he go on? In fact, I think his uh, mind is made up now as high action with the striped sleeves and the check cap now crosses over in front of Yates and goes on. From in second place, Wing Da Jean. Yates is tucked away third, followed by Tungsten Strike the outside, and further back then is Distinction, right in the centre of the pack. Back on the inside of runners is Guadalajara, followed next by Sergeant Cecil, is reefing and pulling early, not settling for Alan Munro. He's used to much bigger fields, although he has raced in a few single-figure number uh, races. Uh, further back in the field then is Ak and uh, still Sergeant Cecil taking a very strong hold in last position. Racing up the home straight the first time, and it's high action out in front here by three lengths or so. To in second place, Wing Da Jean, then in third is Tungsten Strike, who's on the outside of Yates. There, two or three lengths in advance of distinction. One length further back is Barolo. One length further back in the field, then is Reefscape, followed by Guadalajara. Media Puzzle is back fourth last, followed then by Sergeant Cecil and Akarim, and still at the tail of the field is Mota Farid as they swing right hand now out of the home straight and they've got just over a mile and a half to travel in the Ascot Gold Cup and out in front here setting a good pace too is high action going on this will really suit the stayers I'd say trying to really tuck them along at a good pace by six or seven lengths here to up in second place at uh, this stage is Wing Da Jean. then back in third is Yates just being passed there by Tungsten Strike on the outside. They're followed further back by Distinction and Barolo is tucked away on the inside, the yellow sleeves and cap. They're followed by Media Puzzle and Reefscape is there as well. Well back is the dark blue jacket or the royal blue jacket of Guadalajara being tracked by Sergeant Cecil who's held up at the rear of the field now. Mota Farid is well back and so too is Akarim. Running downhill now past the mile and the leader here is High Action is Come back to the field now, leads by only a length of the Tungsten Strike, who's up on the outside of Wing Da Jean. Behind them is Yates, who's had a perfect run. A length away, then Distinction. Mick Canan is just keeping an eye on uh, Fallon ahead of him. Half a length further back in the field, then follows Barolo. Then Reefscape from Guadalajara as they go into Swindley Bottom. They're followed by Media Puzzle, the 2002 uh, Melbourne Cup winner. Uh, well back to is Akarim with Sergeant Cecil, his third last. Last at this stage is Mota Ferret, the rank outsider. Racing out of Swindley Bottom now, the stiff uphill climb towards home, less than six furlongs to travel. High action out in front here from Tungsten Strike, is being ridden along to try and apply pressure, followed by Wing Dajon. The tempo's really increased. Yates is coming into it on the outside. Distinction is tracking him out wider, followed then by Barolo. Guadalajara coming into it as well. Well back then is Reefscape. Sergeant Cecil behind horses as they start to group up now and run to the home turn of the Gold Cup. High action, the leader from Tungsten Strike and Wing Da Jean. Yates and around the outside, Guadalajara. A length and a half, the distinction pulled on for an effort. Sergeant Cecil needs a run as they swing for home now and Media Puzzle as well back. High action led them into the straight. Here's Yates on the outside. Ranges up now and grabs the lead quickly. Followed then by Tungsten Strike. Distinction is under pressure. Out wider then as Reefscape. Sergeant Cecil weaving his way through and Yates has gone for home now. Will he stay? Just over a furlong and a half to go. Distinction battling on. Trying hard to make some inroads into this lead as they come inside the final. Final furlong, it's Yates, three or four in front, Reefscape, Distinction, they're not going to catch him, Yates has outclassed them, Yates wins the Ascot Gold Cup by four or five lengths, tight second photo between Reefscape and Distinction, 